So in this video, we're going to look at the BBC Sounds app. So in the previous video, she will have signed up by now, hopefully, for the BBC iPlayer app. And because you've now got a BBC account, that means you can also easily sign up for the and register on the BBC Sounds app. Um, so I've just come into the Play Store, typed in BBC Sounds, and as you can see, it's telling me that it's installing or downloading. So what is the BBC Sounds app? Well, you may have seen on TV programmes afterwards that it, it talks about the podcasts that you can watch that are connected to programmes. You can also listen to radio programmes on there as well. Um, if you have a little look down on the app description, if I just scroll across, we've got radio, music, listings, podcasts, um, all the all of the past radio shows are on there as well. So it's it is a really good app to use if you like listening to things and um particularly if, if you've got headphones as well. Um I use wireless headphones so I can just pop them on and I'm not I'm not actually tied to the device. You can just sit anywhere and listen to anything that's on here. So let's go ahead and open the app like we did on the iPlayer. And we'll have a little look around and see what it does. So again, like before, on the BBC iPlayer app, it's saying sign in or register. So this time, because you've got, if you've already done the BBC iPlayer course, you have now got a BBC account. So you can just go ahead and sign in. If you haven't done the BBC iPlayer one yet, then you will need to go ahead and register or watch the first video of the iPlayer course and it will show you how to do that. But because we've done that already, I'm not going to cover that in this in this video. So let's click on sign and you will just type in your details that you registered with the iPlayer. So again, as I said before, um, don't get confused and think you put in your email and your um, Gmail or email password, it needs to be the password you've created for your BBC account. So we'll just go ahead and put those in. Just before we do carry on, one thing that I will show you when you sign in, which I haven't showed you on the iPlayer, is that if for any reason you have forgotten your password, which does happen, um, it's very easy to reset your password and um, because people don't people sometimes think oh I've forgotten my password um, and they can't ever get into these um, you know apps again or don't know what to do so if you just see there and this ha this is under most websites it says need help signing in and if you tap on that you can see it says I've forgotten my password or I've forgotten my username or email so all you would do is tap on, I've forgotten my password, pop your email address in, send password reset email, which I've done just to demonstrate. And then if I go back to my email, um, down at the, I've got the email here, BBC account, reset your password. It's just the top email there. Opened up the email and it says tap here to change password. So if you ever can't get into anything because of your password, don't panic. Just look for that change password or need help signing in and um, you can easily change your passwords if you do that. So I've gone ahead and changed the password and then I've come back to the BBC Sounds app. What it might do is just take you into the BBC website and you can come out of that and just go back to the BBC Sounds app. Tap on sign in and then just sign in with the um, new details that you've, you've, that you've created. So we'll see now if it's remembered as it should do. And we'll just wait for it to load up. So um, let's have a look around like we did on the iPlayer one, just so you can get familiar with what's on here. 
So at the top here, we've got all the different radio stations, radio leads. These are all live. Radio 1, 2, 3. If we scroll across, there may well be some more as well. Yeah, Radio 4, 4 Extra, Radio 5. So all of these are live at the moment. If you want to listen to any of those radio stations, um, for example, if I wanted to listen to Radio 2, I can tap on and it's telling me it's the breakfast show on until half past nine. Um, and I think if we click on the, the start button, it will take us back. We've got the pause button there. We can speed things up. It tells us how far into the show it is as well. Um, so it, that's, that's how you would get on and listen to a live radio station that's playing right now. If we go to the back button, we can also have a look around again. We've got the stations and schedules, so that will tell us what's on, like the iPlayer with the um, timetable. We just tap on that and have a look. And this tells us everything that's uh, on today on Radio 2. Same with Radio 1 and all the other channels. So you can have a look and see if there's anything that you want to watch. And that's really handy because you don't always know what's coming up on the radio during the day. So it's handy to have a look and see if there's anything that you want to watch. So we'll go back to the home page, which you can see down at the bottom on this app. This is where your menus are. You've got your home, music, your sounds, and the search button is down at the bottom. So always when you're on a website, get familiar for, with where your navigation buttons are or an app. They could be at the bottom, they could be at the top. And that's going to help you move your way around apps to where you want to be. So let's tap on the home and go back to where we were. And further down, this is where we start to get into the podcasts. So these are usually like there could be interviews with people, they could be documentaries, um, all, all kinds of things that you can listen to on here. You scroll across, you can see um, all of these are podcasts that are on here. Go, keep going down. We've got music mixes. So these can be um, a couple of hours of um, different music all put together to listen to without adverts. Um, so there's all kinds again on there. We've got recommended for you, so it kind of gets to know what you'd like to listen to as well. And then again, just to play it, we've got categories down at the bottom. So if you're not sure what you want to listen to, you could come down here, um, tick on documentaries, for example, and see if there's anything that you want to listen to on there. It's quite a lot, at, uh, a lot of programmes. Um, the other thing that you can do if you've seen something on television and it's mentioned a podcast, you can just tap the search button down at the bottom um, or you can just type in words for inspiration. Um, one of the ones that I've been listening to is the Louis Theroux podcast, which is just coming up there, Grounded with Louis Theroux. I've, that's, he's been interviewing um, all kinds of... Uh, celebrities and people um, over his podcast. Um, so if you scroll back, you can see all the different episodes on their series one and series two. And again, if you wanted to listen to any of them, if you remember from what I said on the iPlayer, what you're looking for is the triangle button, which is always a play button um, over there. It tells us how long the episodes are and when they were recorded. So if I just tap play on one of these, we can see at the bottom on the black line there, it's, it's telling me here on the black line um, that this is playing. Well, it's downloaded at the moment and playing. I think I've probably turned the sound off on this device. Um, and we've got a pause button over to the right here if we do need to stop it as well. The orange bar there is again the progress bar telling us how long, because this is only a two minute introduction, so how long this podcast has got to go um, on that. 
if I tap the pause button, it's going to stop. I can go away and come back and um, pick up where I left off. Um, so let's see what else we've got. If we tap into my sound, sounds at the bottom, uh, this is again where you can download, like we did on the iPlayer, um, you can download episodes and watch them offline. You can also subscribe. So if there's a particular podcast that you're listening to, if you subscribe to it, all the new episodes will come in here and it will save you finding them. Um, we've also got bookmarks and you can add podcasts and listen to them later. So you could do a search through, add them in and it just saves you looking for things next time that you come on. So say... Um, let's have a look at this one see what options we've got so I could tap here and I could download it to listen to on the bus or you know on my travels and again you can get this app on your phone or your tablet I could subscribe so let's hit the subscribe button and what that will mean is whenever this person does a new episode it will come into my subscribed area same with the download. If I set that download, you know, it will come into my downloads area. The more button, we can just bookmark the episode there. So I could go through six or seven uh, podcasts, put them onto my um, bookmark area, and then I've got myself, a, you know, a week's worth of listening all ready to go. And then to find that, we just go back to the, uh, sorry, no, to the my sound section and that's where you'll find your downloads and your bookmarks in there they will all come in once um there's nothing in yet because there wasn't um an episode of the one that i was i'd ticked on but your bookmarks will also come in there as well um and the oh yeah the latest episodes again you can subscribe to shows that you like so have a look around that and see, you know, add some things in for what you want to listen to and you'll, you'll build up a nice collection in your sound section. The other thing that's always worth looking at when you're exploring an app is the settings section. A cogwheel is always a settings on your tablet, your phone or any app. Um, there's no, you know, if in doubt, just always go ahead and explore and see what you've got on there. Um, some of it might not be relevant but you've got the frequently asked questions so that will tell you a little bit more about the app um, we tap on downloads just some little uh, download a... yes if that was the top one was turned on and you were downloading and you weren't connected to the Wi-Fi it's saying it will use your data allowance so always leave that off and let it download over Wi-Fi um you can you've got options for changing the quality as well but all of that you shouldn't really need to change but it is just worth um knowing that you've got the settings particularly for the frequently asked questions if you do ever get stuck so have a look around um i'm sure you'll find some things on there i think there's all the back episodes of desert island discs um there's uh, the peter pratt crouch podcast that's always a really popular one um as well um, again, if you go into the search section, if, for example, you're interested in cooking, if you just type in keywords of anything that you're interested in, it will find podcasts to do with the words that you are putting in there. Um, and you can see if I scroll through, you can see if there's anything, a food program, Christmas cooking. Um, if I type in detectives I don't know if there'll be anything on there there's, oh, there's some yeah again there's some detectives on there podcasts so yeah if you can't find any if you can't find what you want just type in the keywords and see what what you, you know what it suggests to you for a bit of inspiration so i hope you enjoy using it um again another way of using it is if you're out walking and you've got headphones, you can download something onto your phone, pop your headphones in and um, listen to whatever it is um, that you want to listen to. Obviously, when you've got headphones on, 
um, just be mindful you can't hear the traffic and other people around you so that's just one caution there so I'll leave that with you and um, enjoy exploring bye